available online. Today is a really special day because we are here with my friend, professional chef Matt. And we are cooking apple pies. Yeah, kind of professional chef, yes. Hold Hi, on. everyone. Hold on. What do you mean, kind of professional? Well, I didn't go to like a special chef school or anything, but uh, I'm really good at baking. Okay, I feel like maybe we should have talked about that ahead of time, but we're gonna go with it. Kind of professional chef Matt is here with us today to make some apple pies. Ooh, apple pie, that's my favorite. It's mine too. But as we're making that pie, very carefully, friends, this is a grown-up job. While we're making that pie, we're talking about fruit of the spirit, Chef Matt. Do you know what fruit of the spirit is? Oh, fruits of the spirit, yeah, yeah. That's like, uh, you know, apples and oranges and stuff. Not exactly. Fruit of the spirit isn't fruit that you eat, it's fruit that you grow. Paul tells us in Galatians 5 through 22, but the fruit of the Holy Spirit produces is love, joy, and peace. It is being patient, kind, and good. It is being faithful and gentle and having control of oneself. There is no law against the things of that kind. So the fruit of the spirit, it's not fruit that you eat. It's spiritual fruit that you grow with God's help. Oh, I see. So how many fruits are there? Well, there's nine fruits of the spirit. Last week, we talked about the first three. Friends, do you remember what they are? The first one is love. The second one is joy. The third one is peace. Love, joy, peace. Now we're getting ready to talk about the next two as we keep going with this pie, but it looks like you're almost done. Uh, yes. I can't wait to hear about them, but first, yes, let me put this pie into the oven. You're kind of making a mess. Oh, I got it, I got it. The kind of professional Matt has got it under control. Okay, we got it in the oven, so I set the timer, right? Yes, set that for me, please. Okay, it's set. All right, now I am ready to eat. I just set the timer, though. What? I don't, I don't want to wait. I'm hungry now. Oh, Chef Matt, we, we have to wait for the pie to get done. It's got to cook. Oh, does that mean I have to be patient? It does. Oh, uh, that's not my favorite word. I don't like to wait. Oh, nobody likes to wait, Chef Matt, but it's great you're here because we are talking about patience today because that is the next fruit of the Spirit. We have love, joy, and peace. The next one is patience. Can you point to your watch, friend, or your wrist like you have a watch? Patience? Patience is not just waiting or waiting for the pie. Patience is waiting with a good attitude. All right, I guess I'm going to have to wait on this pie with a good attitude. And sometimes that can be really hard to do, even for us grown-ups. But God can help us grow good fruits, and that includes patience. Now the next one is kindness. We sign that with one thumbs up. Oh, I know what kindness is. That's being, you know, nice or friendly with your words or your actions. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we have patience, kindness, and the next one is goodness. Two thumbs up. Now, goodness is doing the right thing even when we don't always feel like it. Oh, you mean like, like when my mom asked me to clean my room and I have to do it? Yeah. So it's not only getting up and cleaning your room, it's doing it right away and with a good attitude. That's goodness. Now, do you think we can put them all together? You ready? We'll start from the beginning. We've got love, joy, peace. Patience, kindness, goodness. Awesome job. I think we're almost done. I think we are. That pie is smelling delicious. Let's see, do we hear the timer? Ooh. There it is. Oh, the pie is really here. Oh, that smells so good. Can we eat now? Oh, absolutely. You made it with such a good attitude. Okay. That's a very flowery pie. It's an amazing, amazing job, Chef Matt. And I'm so proud of you for patiently waiting for that pie to get done. But before we go, I have an amazing song that helps us to remember all the fruits of the Spirit. Would you like to sing it? Yeah, let's do it. But first, we got to get rid of this mess. You ready for some chapel magic? One, two, three. Amazing. I wish cleaning my room was that easy. Are you guys ready to sing? Let's do it.
Great job, friends. Thanks for worshiping with us today. The fruit of the Spirit. It's really good to know them, but it's really good to grow them. I think now is the perfect time for us to do our verse so that we can remember how much God loves us. Will you do that with a semi-professional chef, Matt? Absolutely. Let's do it. You ready? And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, just how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. Ephesians 3.18. That was amazing. But before we go about our day, can we take time to pray together? Let's do that, friends. Will you bow your heads? Dear Jesus, thank you so much for Chapel Online. Thank you for the opportunity that we get to watch with our family and learn all about these amazing fruits of the Spirit that you help us grow. Especially today, Lord, patience, kindness, and goodness. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Chef Matt, you're now a professional Chef Matt. Thank you so much for joining us on Chapel Online today. Friends, I cannot wait to see you next week. See you next time. Bye, guys.